Oh, hello there. Um, I'm a big fan of beatboxing. I think it's a wonderful thing to do any time of day. You can uh, create new noises with your mouth. and It's amazing because everyone has their own arsenal for beatboxing. They have different sounds that they do with their mouth, and it's really cool to collaborate with people. So I'm a big fan of beatboxing. But um, the main piece of this video is to talk about... Um, connectivity and constellations of people and groups and so it seems to me that there's all these dots out there there's like a person say it's in one city you know there's a person over here who's really into uh, I don't know the transition town movement and then there's a person over here who's really into it and a person over here is really into it and a person over here but there's not that many constellations in between them there's not there's all these dots but I think it's important for, for the dots to find all the other ones and then become a constellation. And then you get the power of synergy um, to work together on projects. And uh, there's, a, there's a group called the Solutionism Network that's working to do that. And one of the biggest things is that um, is some, sometimes people have different belief systems, but they... It's like a Venn diagram. They o their belief systems overlap, and thus they can work together on certain projects, even if they don't have the exact same belief system or reality tunnel or pair of perceptual spectacles. You know, they see the world kind of differently, but maybe they both think that planting tr planting fruit trees all around town is a great idea. And so I think that worldwide, there's all these different constellations and all these people working on things but a lot of times people think they're the only ones or they think they're org they they can only see their organization but in reality there's so many people out there just waiting to get involved with a project but they feel isolated and they feel like there's no one else out there but my friends and I have been biking across the country and we've seen that there's there's so many of these people who are like oh I thought I was the only one I really want to get involved you know and so I think that um, those of us who have started to realize this, it's important that we go and build these connections so that we can start bringing groups and people together to work on collaborative projects. Like there's the Venus Project, you know, there's the Transition Town Movement, there's all these Buddhists and religious people who are trying to um, get into permaculture. Then there's like the hardcore permaculturalists then there's like the anarchists, then there's there's all these different groups that really have common goals, but they are not really working together very extensively. And I think it will be amazing once more of these people and groups start building these complex constellations and just collaborating on all these amazing things. So if you know any way of do, doing this in your area, I highly encourage you to do this. That's what uh, the cultural recyclists have been doing is trying to build a network and help bring all these people together because change is happening all around the world and it is an amazing time to be alive. So scoobly-doo, have a wonderful day. Peace.